So you want to take the two cables coming out of your projector, the USB and the VGA, and connect both of them to your computer. And you can either take the remote and press the blue power button in the upper left hand corner, or press the blue power button next to the blue indicator light on the projector itself. As it's warming up, there is a status button which will blink blue, letting you know that the projector is warming up to start up. Should only take a few moments to start up. If for whatever reason your computer does not automatically connect to the projector, you might want to reach out to either your operations staff at the school to make sure that you have the proper software downloaded, or you can reach out to MindShift. Once you see that your projector is projecting the image that's on your computer, take the pen, make sure that the battery is installed. It also comes with a magnetic case that the pen can go in. Let's stick it on your board. Now take the pen, press the button on the pen. You will see the uh, light flash one time to let you know that it is turned on. Take your remote to calibrate the pen with the board and press the user button. Select No so that you can manually calibrate the projector. Move from Auto Calibration to Manual Calibration and press the center button. You want to click Yes and then touch each mark. There are small green marks that start in the upper left hand corner, so you want to press each one as it goes around the screen. Once the pen has been calibrated with the board, there are two basic functions for how you can use this board. You can either use the pen to control the computer, or you can use the pen to annotate over top of the screen. If you look in the lower right hand corner, again if you bring the pen near the board, these menus appear. If you look down in the bottom right hand corner, you will see an icon of what looks like a projector with a pen. This means that you are in annotation mode, and you can annotate right directly on the screen. You can write right on top of whatever is uh, on the computer screen. Okay, to erase what you have annotated, click the eject button on the right hand side of the screen, and the bottom most icon will confirm whether you want to delete all annotations. So click Select yes, and it erases what you have written. If you want to use your pen to control what you control what you see on the computer, select the icon in the bottom most right hand corner, and you will see an icon of what looks like a laptop with a, a mouse. If you click on that, the screen will go dark for a moment, it will refresh, and pen mode PC interactive will display on the screen. And you will notice that the icon will change from before it was a small circle with a dot in the middle, and it will change to actually uh, what should look like a computer mouse. And from here, you can select as if you were, you can select anything on the computer as if you were using your mouse. Now, if you're interested in actually creating annotations not on top of what you see, but on a white screen, if you click the eject button, on the right hand side, well actually you'll have to switch back. Right now I'm in the mode that can just control the computer, so I'm going to want to switch back to the annotation mode. And on the right hand side of the menu at the very top, you will see two tabs. The tab that you will land on by default allows you to annotate over whatever you see on the screen. If you click the one next to it, it creates a white screen that you can then use the pen to annotate on. And again, if you need to erase, click this lowest one, lowest icon, and select yes. There are other icons on the right hand side which are different pen colors, blue, red, black, and uh, you can select thickness of your line and different colors. Uh, the second to last icon is an eraser icon. So if you select a line size and a color and draw, uh, and again, there are 
small circles and large circles. So if you select on the right hand side, you will get a large circle. If you select on the left hand side, you will get a small circle. If you want to erase part of what you've written, there is an eraser icon. Again, small circle, large circle. That will allow you to erase what you've drawn. To collapse this side menu, there's an arrow with what looks like a play button. You can select that to collapse that menu. On both sides of the screen, you will see these small eject icons, and they are the same thing. This is the basic functionality of the Epson Interactive Projector. Please tune in for more videos as we get deeper into using these devices. Thank you.